Hi YouTube. In this video we're going to continue our discussion of what we're calling the standard topology on the set of real numbers. Recall that a subset of the real numbers u is said to be open in this topology if for every x in the set u we can find some epsilon greater than zero such that we have a neighborhood of x that is entirely contained in u. That's what it means for a set u to be open in what we're calling the standard topology on R. So in this video we're going to just prove a lemma. So I'm calling it a lemma because we're going to use this to prove at some point that the standard topology on R is in fact a topology. So this is one of the criteria uh, required uh, for something to be a topology. So the lemma states that the union of any family of open sets is open. So we're going to prove that the union of any family of open sets uh, that satisfy this criteria is also open. So proof. So we'll start by considering a family of open sets. So let b sub i, as i runs through some, some index set, be a family of open sets. And now we're going to consider the union of this family. So uh, set, let's call it W. Set W equal to the union of the VIs. And the claim is that W is an open set. So claim W is open. So we'll take uh, some x in w, and then we have to show that there is an epsilon neighborhood about x that's completely contained in w, and that will complete the proof. So take, take any x in w. Well, that means that x is in the union of the v's. So then x must be in at least one of these. So x is in v sub j, let's say or some j. Now since x is in v sub j and v sub j is open, that's an open set, there exists some epsilon greater than zero such that there is an epsilon neighborhood about x that's entirely contained in v sub j. But v sub j uh, is entirely contained in the union of the vi's, which is equal to w. So that means that this epsilon neighborhood is entirely contained in w. So given any x in w, we found an epsilon greater than zero, such that we found the neighborhood of x contained entirely in w. This is precisely what it means for W to be open. So this is precisely what it means for W to be open. And the proof is complete. Thanks for visiting my channel. I hope this video has been helpful.